What is up you guys? It's me Arlene. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. My name is Arlene Morabel. I am now a sophomore at the prestigious and the illustrious HBCU that we call Norfolk State University in Norfolk, Virginia. For all the green and gold, go Spartans. And I'm graduating in the class of 2024. So if you guys are not new here or who are definitely relate or definitely love my channel, you know what to do. Hello. You know? So, all right. So today's topic that I would like to like it really just came up in my head. So, um, today what I want to do is um this topic is is um definitely like I've been thinking about it for a couple of days now. It's my backup plans after Norfolk State. So this is definitely like the the most wonderful time to basically talk about it because like, you know, um, I've been researching a lot about um, master's degrees in higher education administration because um, I have a best friend who recently just graduated from Norfolk State University and is now at Old Dominion University majoring in um, master's degree in higher education administration with a concentration in student affairs. Her name is Alita Russian. She was uh, formerly Miss NSU for 2020-2021 school year. Shout out to her. And she's now at ODU um, pursuing her master's degree at, uh, in higher education. So shout out to her. All right. So I mean, that's what I definitely want to want to do is just that I want to pursue like a master's degree after I graduate with my bachelor's degree in um, history with a concentration of secondary social science, which is a pre licensure or like a, I think it leads to teacher certification. I mean, so um, I knew what I wanted to do after I graduate from. Um, of say university i mean i always want to go up and above to the next level it's to pursue a master's degree in higher education administration with a concentration in student affairs or i think i want to do like like uh, leadership and administration i think they have like three tracks at odu which is it's national education um student affairs and um leadership and administration. I want to go on uh, my concentration with student affairs. That's what my best friend, Aliyah Russian, is doing right now, starting in, in August. So uh, me and Aliyah Russian, we've been friends since, um, I think it was um, fall semester of 20, last year, so 2020. So, And I talked to her and she's a really, really, honestly, to be honest with you, she's a really, really wonderful person, you know. Um, she's from Chester, Virginia, and she, she, she loves to cheer. She's a cheer, she's a cheerleader at um, Norfolk State University. She's a NSU cheerleader for the basketball team, football team, you name it. So um, shout out to her. And um, I heard that... Um, a master's a, a master's degree in higher education salary is a lot higher than what it was in um bachelor of, of arts degree in history with a secondary social science concentration when it comes to teaching at a secondary sec, like a secondary level like a secondary like education level like middle school and high school and that's what I really want to do is just um pursue um after this i will be definitely going to be applying to odu um in the, by the time my senior year comes because my senior year doesn't come until 2023 or probably later than that so i'm most definitely going to apply in my senior year of um when my senior year comes at nsu so i'll most definitely do that and one more thing you don't have to you, you don't have to have a graduate uh, record examination or a GRE to apply to the ODU's um, higher education master's program so which is a good plus you know so um there's a lot of careers such as like chief academic officer dean of students like I think it's like the director of student affairs um provost you know you name it I think I just looked at it on google because I think the the starting salary for 
like a master's degree in like um higher education administration is upwards up to like six figures, more than six figures. I mean, and that's what I really wanted to do because I'm a huge advocate for education. I mean, I'm a huge advocate for K through 12, um, 12th grade education and also for college education as well for like um, higher education as well because I mean, higher education is um, bachelor's, master's and doctorate while um, K through 12 is like kindergarten, first grade, second grade and so on. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm definitely going to do. That's my backup plans and that's what I definitely want to do because like, you know, you're never too old to go back to school. You know, I started school at 29 years old. Now I'm 30 and a sophomore. So, yeah. So, um, that's all that I can say for now. Shout out to Alita. She is doing wonderful things at Old Dominion right now. Well, actually, she's going to start going to school in Old Dominion University. I mean, Old Dominion and um, North State are... 15 minutes away from each other. I mean, my cousin, Anna, she graduated from Old Dominion University in 2018. Shout out to her. ODU, NSU, they're not rivals. They're not enemies. They're best friends. Hello. So, yeah. Anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned because I know it's the last week of July, I think. It's the... I think it's... Uh, the last week of my like summer vacation, let's just say, I don't know, because I start school back on August 30th, so, yee! So, um, stay tuned, more videos to come, and I'll see you guys in my next video, so, bye guys!